Ladies and gentlemen, I am excited to say that I have entered the explosives business. <laughs> What's up, guys? This is Heiss, and uh, today we've got a fun video. Crypto Neo saw my last Dero Valley video and decided to fulfill my every whim. <laughs> by painting some tank cars with explodey boys on the side. So they're now officially explodey boys. They're even officially high branded explodey boys. <laughs> oh, this is just too great. So, yeah, we're having we're having a little fun here today, folks. We're so I want to take the class 89, not the 86, the small tank engine and see how it does over the road, and I figured we'd do so running some of my very own explodey boys so we've got a, a train of six explodey boys and we're bringing along the caboose just in case you know uh we need to refuel this thing en route because i believe greg said that he got it so that this thing actually works and can be serviced via the career manager so we're not going to get too vigorous with our fire here because we're not going to need too much pressure uh, we'd rather conserve the water the best we can. So let's get this thing in reverse. Let's back into these cars here. Sorry, back into the explodey boys, just nice and gently here. <laughs> let's get the air cut in, get the screws to do screw stuff. There we go. Let's go get the caboose laced up as well. Okay, so that should all be dandy. And now we charge out the yard with a vigorous... Oh, lordy. <laughs> with vigorous amounts of wheel slip. <laughs> Greg said that he fixed... He fixed some amount of the uh, the issues with the engine, and obviously it likes to slip now, whereas it would hardly ever slip at all before. Anyways, while that gets out of town, let's ex let's accept the job here. There we go. We gotta get to the machine factory town to C3I. So that's gonna be a bit of a tall task. So let's get this thing rolling here. Just, and waste as much steam as physically possible. Lordy. Oh, and we've run it out of water, so good start, good start. And the injector key doesn't work. There we go, it's fine. We don't need water. You can just blow the locomotive up. Uh, and we are lined out. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's see how the little 060 does on, on the road. So we're, we're running to the machine factory in town. And I figure we'll take the northern route. It's not one that we've really explored on the channel. But that means that if we do run out of fuel or water, we're going to have to manually service with the caboose, which will be kind of expensive. So it's going to be a bit of a gamble. We'll see uh, We'll see what it can do. So we don't want to We want to break as little as we can, and we want to be as efficient as we can. So we're getting up to a good clip here, and we'll just let it, let it run. And watch the explodey boys roll by. <laughs> Oh, lordy. <laughs> Heist rail coming to a railroad near you. Or so you don't help. Or so you don't hope. <laughs> Alright, coming up on that grade, so we'll just keep the power on here. Now we probably need more fuel. That's good. Blowers off. I don't really care that the pressure is not where we want it. We're running a pretty good clip. It doesn't matter if we have pressure right now. The, the real big issue with this thing is water capacity, so that's going to be the fun. It's a really small tank engine. I believe, from what I learned from my comments, that it was actually designed to set up passenger trains back in the day on the DRG. But <laughs> I don't have the passenger license mod yet. So we're running Explodey Boys instead! <laughs> Oh, lordy. Oh, this thing's awesome. Oh, goodness. Yeah, I love that. And I don't know how we ended up with a, an all-red consist, but that's quite nice. It's a good color scheme here. And this is a pretty bit of railroad as well. 
Look at that. Got it wide open. The bar is pretty far back. Sorry, screw reverse. Doing about 50 kilometer an hour. Not using too much water, but we're also not, like, making much steam. So we'll see about trying to help that. Let's see if we can get a little blower action to bring it up a little bit. So we are working up a little bit of a grade. But it doesn't matter too much if we slow down because we've got that 30 kilometer an hour zone coming up. And it's kind of like um, if you ever watched Top Gear, those early episodes of Top Gear where they were trying to run a car out of fuel or see how far it could go in a fuel tank. Uh, if you brake, you're wasting your energy, right? So you want to you wanna brake as little as you possibly can. So if we slow down, that's not the end of the world here. But I would like a bit more than five bar of pressure. We're really running with not much here. It looks like we are lined to Food Factory A, thanks to the HUD. So we are lined to the left, which is why we've got that 30 kilometer an hour zone. I'm going to bring the throttle off, and we'll just coast. And, and that ought to be okay. Start adding a little bit of water. This thing doesn't have much of a water tank. <laughs> it's a cute little 060. Pulling cute little explodey boys! That's never going to get old. All right, I'm doing like 35 through this. This is fine. It's fine. We've got explodey boys behind us. Me and the boys. <laughs> Me and the boys on the railroad here. And we're getting the the spooky sounds for the explodey boys. So we'll we'll leave it there. <laughs> I I saw that um, I saw that Crypto Neo pinged me when I was in Colorado with these, uh, <laughs> with the explodey boys. He, he said, like, hey, you asked for this, and I saw that he had made them, but I didn't get a, to really look at him other than the fact that they said explodey boys on the side, and I, I was just in love, but the fact that he tossed the logo on there, too, is kind of brilliant. All right, you know what? We're gonna, we're gonna be putting some brakes on now. I know I gave that whole speech about no braking, but this is a little scary right now. Oh, and that was the automatic. Yeah, we're doing 60, and it's a 30 through here. So let's uh, let's just pinch it back down to reality for a second here. Because it's this curve right here. Send us flinging through the tunnel portal here. Okay, we got plenty of pressure now. Kick that off. And now we'll widen out on the throttle here. And immediately do a burnout by the sound of it. Come on. We still in that 30 zone? I didn't see the other speed zone. We got a 50 coming up, but this this is pretty sharp through here. Spooky sounds, spooky sounds for the explodey boys. Yeah, we're going down grade a little bit. Can we just let it coast, hopefully? Okay, we got another 30 coming up. Okay, well we'll set up a little air. Ooh! That was a little spooky. Set up a little more air. And here I'm sitting, like, up against the pops going, Jesus, let's not overfill the, wa the boiler here. Okay, we're lined into Food Factory B into C through the C4I. I have no idea if that's any flavor of good. For all I know, we're going to run into a consist of cars that I forgot to delete. <laughs> Previously on Derail Valley, Heiss is an idiot. Uh, yeah, C4I is no bueno. So we'll line that. We'll run through the station. Oh, and my goodness, did some lag up here that, now that we got here. I realize I still have the TW54 installed in its older version. The TW54 got released since the last video that I did. Oh, Christ, we need to put the fire... We, we put the fire out! Way to pay attention, Heiss. Oh, boy. And spooky sounds. And very spooky sounds. Air brakes, please. Air brakes, please. Air brakes, please. Okay, that's it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. You know what? We're scaring everyone, so we'll just put the whistle on and just let everyone know that we're coming into town while we try and relight this. There we go. Okay, see? We're fine. Fine. Anyways... <laughs> Yeah, so as I was saying, before things went to hell, um, I realized I still had the old version of the TW54 installed. 
because um, Dylan was so nice to send me an early version of the TW54 before it was released, and he has since figured out what the FPS draw problem was, but I still have the version that eats frames, so I'm going to look over here for a minute while we while we run through the yard and hopefully not grind the rail. That's what it was sounding like it was doing. So give it a bit more beans. Hopefully there's nothing on this track ahead of us. I'm not even sure what this whole yard is in here. Is it all like a passenger yard or what do they what jobs come to this yard? Are there even signs on those tracks? There's not even signs on those tracks. Weird. Anyway, we're gonna come up to the upgrade out of town here. How far do we have to go? <laughs> Quite far. <laughs> that stretch to the iron ore mine is gonna be a bit long. We'll see what happens through there. Luckily we're still full of water. Well, I guess we have to be. We didn't have a fire, so... <laughs> What's the difference? Okay. Got a 60 coming up, so we're just going to keep the power on. Me and the Explodey gang. On the railroad. Having a cold one with the Explodey boys. That's never going to get old. Someone needs to... Whoever... I've, I was enabled by having these. I'm sorry for all of you. All right, power's wide open. Oh, we're down on pressure again already. All right, well, we'll cheat with the blower, I guess. Damper's open. No brakes on. All explode, no brakes. It's been a minute since we've blown anything up. And based on the fact that I was able to accept the job uh, right out of town, apparently I don't have any uh, any fees to pay off right now. So, you know, maybe we should blow something up. What good is having explodey boys if they don't blow up? You gotta live up to their name, man. These models are so cool. This is also the the older model of the Class 89. This is the pre-release. I haven't updated it because I'm a turd. I'm not sure if Greg did his magic to this one yet or not that he did for the Class 86. I imagine he did, but I'm not sure. Okay, now we're coming down on the water. We can turn that off. Turn off the blower. And I did... I, I spoke with Greg, and I thought this valve was backwards, but apparently Germans are backwards. So, who knew? <laughs> Alright. God, we got a 2.2% up here? Goodness. Is the, does this chunk of the railroad just suck? Lordy heavens, Okay. Give me coal, give me fire! And we are aligned to iron the yes, the IMW, which is the Iron Mine West. Which is going to be at this junction up here. I'm not sure when the last time I ran through here was. I think it was on the live stream that I did. I'll periodically live stream DRL Valley. It can be quite fun, but it's typically pretty intense, so it's a little hard to answer questions and have dialogue with everyone when, when I'm live streaming it. Okay, coming up on the junction, diverging to the right. It's actually kind of straight, although the switch is in a weird spot, whatever. 50, speed limit. It's the grade decreases to 1.6 from the 2.2. And this thing is still trucking along, despite not having any pressure. That's fine. We got the Explodey Boys behind us. That's all that matters. <laughs> okay, got an 80 coming up. And this is kind of a bit of a, a squirrely, spirally bit of railroad. Just lots of curves for not much reason. But it is pretty up here. We are bogging down, though. No, we don't need that. We might need this, though. Oh, boy. Come on. Let's feed it a little bit more bar. Screw reverse, sorry. Does it ease up? Looks like it levels off up here. Although it doesn't actually look like it levels off. It, it says it levels off. <laughs> There we go. Can get back to being more efficient. We got a 60 in 750-ish meters, and then nothing. Do we hit the void then? Or or I guess the uh, the HUD only reads so far out. 
Okay, we need some more water. So we shall give the choo-choo the water it deserves and desires. Okay, we are going to go downhill now. We like the sound of that. The big upgrades like that are going to kill us. We're going to run out of water and coal very quickly that way. Okay, and we are going down grade now, so I'm going to just let it coast. Put the screw reverse in the corner, even though maintenance isn't a thing. Got a 60, and then, it, yeah, another 1,500-ish meters out. 1,250 meters out, we got uh, a 70. We're not even quite doing 60 yet, but I think it's only 50 through here, which is why the explodey gang is being so loud back there. That's, those are some scary D-roll numbers. That's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Still fine. Okay. You know, we're, we're, all, we're all good here. <laughs> How are we under the speed limit and they're so loud? <clears throat> This is the one speed limit that they didn't put a tolerance on, apparently, in DRL Valley is up this way. But goodness, it is pretty up through here. What a pretty map. They did a really nice job with this. <laughs> okay, we'll kick the, uh, kick the water off there. That's happy. Pressure's come back now that we've not used any pressure. Funny how that works. We still haven't quite come up on that 70, but we're barely doing 65, so we'll just let it roll. We just roll in with the explodey boys. <laughs> oh, lordy. I'm having too much fun with this. Right, there's the 70. That's a real helpful speed sign in the tunnel. I'm not sure that uh, corresponds with standard guidance here. We got an 80 and then a 60. Then we're... We get to fly around this curve here. Lordy, it looks like we're going too fast. But apparently it's fine, they say. How far do we have to go? Okay. <laughs> we're about halfway between Food Factory and Iron Ore Mine, but then we got to get to the Machine Factory after that, which isn't too long of a pull, but I think it is a bit of a pull. So I want to say the, uh, the Machine Factory is up on a hill. So that's going to make things a little interesting. Oh, and this is so pretty. I gotta have more stuff to do up here. This is such a desolate part of the map. It's like the biggest region with no towns in it. So it's really pretty. I guess that's why it's so pretty is that there's nothing to do except stare at the scenery. Okay, we got a 50 coming up. We are doing 66-ish. I'm a little spooked. We'll take, a, we'll take a little set from across the cab. And then we'll kick it off. And then we'll pray. Ooh, those are some really spicy sounds. Okay. Yeah, glad we took the little set. Me and the Explodey Gang might have said hello to the cliff in a rather unpleasant manner. <laughs> it's not a hello. It's more like a drunk guy running into you at the bar going, Hey! Yeah. <laughs> Oops. We're still in the corner. Come on. Come on. Good maintenance practices lead to bad operational practices. Because reasons. Okay. We got floating track! <laughs> and trees in the gauge. Someone call MOW. Well, I guess leaves in the gauge more than trees. I just like to think that the explodey bo boys are getting high-fived. We got a 40 coming up. Let's, um... Yeah, let's just give it a quick set there. Quick release. We're already pretty much doing 40. That was probably a little bit overzealous. Yeah, and this curve really doesn't look that scary. We'll, we'll ignore making the really, really easy Amtrak joke right there. <laughs> okay. Still going. And now we're where we came from over there. This is a neat bit. It's like being in a, a big valley, almost like Los Pinos on the uh, Cumbres and Toltec, where you can look across and be like, Oh, we were just over there. We've turned around. Okay, let's get the water back off there. We got a 60 after we get through this S curve. Okay, and we'll come out the tunnel to the iron ore mine. I can't remember if I did a pickup or set out at the iron ore mine. I guess we'll find out at high speed. So line through the B4O. Presumably that is a track and not the main in the middle. 
so we'll see how that goes, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what our speed is right now. We got an 80 coming up, but I don't even know if this thing can do 80. Let's just give it power. Get some speed and power. So we got this 80s and 90s coming up. I mean, you might as well be going quick. And hope that we don't get any spicy sounds in this tunnel here. There's the 80. You can, God, you can watch the water disappear when you're working it that fast, though. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I don't like that, viewers. <laughs> we, we have... We, we have stopped adding water to the boiler. And I've got the injector open wide. Okay, well, we're doing, we're doing a good 65, 70. We've got speed limit ahead of us. We've got a, a switch in 1,400-ish meters that we got to worry about, and a 50 before that. God, I don't want to slow too hard for that 50, because that's the last of our water. I'm actually kind of, without firing it up on an inspection pit, like Greg said to do, because we were at the oil well, I'm actually kind of impressed with how far we've made it with this thing. Because we've been, we've been scooting, we've been pulling up grades... Oh, goodness, we're hauling the mail now. I guess we're downhill here. But we downgrade to a 70, 60, 50, so I think we better get some air underneath us here. As much as that kills me. The explodey boys will kill me first, though. <laughs> Who runs out of water first? The fire truck putting out the fire of my dead corpse or the locomotive? <laughs> okay, we're doing about... 55-ish. It's going to slow down to 50, so we'll just let it roll 200 meters. We're going to pop out the tunnel and we're going to be lined into the B4, and I don't know where that is. Is that straight? I thought we were lined into the B4. Well, here we are. Straight. Straight. We're not lined into the B4. I'm not sure why it says that. Did I miss something in the HUD? Anyways, we're lined through the center, so that's all good. We got a 40 coming up in a little bit. So I guess we'll, we'll save whatever things we have. We'll try and melt the crown sheet as violently as we can now that we're out of water. Get every ounce of steam pressure we can in there. And then pray that it's mostly downhill on the way to the machine factory. So if I don't have to service this thing from the caboose, I won't. I didn't know UP ran to the Iron Mine West. Look at that. <laughs> Piles of iron ore with some excavators. That's fun. Here's the 40. And we're doing like 48. So we're going to round this curve. Come out the tunnel. We've got a junction to the left. And we're lined towards MFD. Which is Machine Factory D, I would presume. We've got a 50. We're ultimately lined to Machine Factory B, but we need to go to Machine Factory C3 inbound. Let's figure out where the hell that is. Machine Factory is the orange tab. Wish I could have all these printed off. It'd be nice. Okay, so looks like if, so if we're lined for Machine Factory B, the lead is correct. We just got to turn right at that second switch then. And we're picking up some speed here. I don't mind that. I don't mind that one bit. So long as I don't get thrown off the track at this junction, naturally, but looks like we're not diverging. And I think this is one of the more pointless junctions in the game, too, isn't it? There's a couple where it's like, why would you go the other way? Why would you skirt around the machine factory? And why is there a Y down there, and why is there a spur coming up up here? If anyone knows, let me know. Is it a plot device for Heist to blow up the Explodey Devo- Explodey de Boys. Explodey Boys! Oh, we found some grade. This may be the end of the Cobras. 1.6. Yeah, that's- that's what I feared. No, don't waste our steam on slipping. Come on. 
Don't make me start blowing these up for... <laughs> yeah, don't make me start blowing these up for speed. It'll be like that moment in uh, in The Martian. We're going to purposely breach the hull to, to speed up or slow down the, the, the ship to match the target velocity. We're going to blow up the last car in the train to give us enough <laughs> give us enough oomph to get over the hill. It's an unconventional strategy, sir. <laughs> and the railroad and the and the EPA is really not a fan. <laughs> oh lordy, come on. Oh no. My hopes and dreams being dashed by this last hill. Come on. When did, when does it level off? We've got 100 mile an hour speed boards. Is this flat? Uh, minus 0.6. No, it's it's on a grade till there. Okay, well we'll let that. We'll, we'll give us some some suspense and see if it uh, if it stops. I guess we'll flip that because presumably that puts us in C and then C3I is to the left here. That's how bloody close we are. Can it do it? The venerable class 89. Where is it? Hopefully not rolling backwards at high speed. Come on! You can do it! How much pressure does it have? Not much. Oh, sad choo-choo noises. Wah, wah, wah. We'll just set the air up there, I guess. Put the... Put the thr <laughs> okay, I guess the independent brake's not enough to hold it. Set the train up. There we go. Well, piss. We, I mean, we were, it was so close. We had like one, two turns to go. Man, if I if I really managed to not wheel slip early on, and it, had I not had to slow down this couple times, that we that that's probably possible. There's no fees. Oh Christ. Um, I thought you could service these via this. Oh, that might be the new version. That might be the version I don't have. I'm being punished for my hubris. Well, you know what happens then, folks. We we ask the gods, the train gods, give us another one. And it spawns it. I, I didn't realize it spawned it backwards. Whatever. Okay. Quick. Quickly now. Quickly now. Fire in the hole. Literally. Fire in the hole. Okay, and more more steams. More steams! Okay, I'm going to push this backwards, and we'll just put this wide open. Well, I guess we can wait. Make steam! Why haven't you blown up yet? Raging Inferno. No water. No pressure. I guess it wouldn't be a trebuchet if it doesn't have any pressure, so there's that. <laughs> okay, now let's kick off the independent brake. And we'll leave the automatic set up until this thing's got some semblance of pulling power. Okay. All the way in reverse. Power on. Release the train. We're still set up pretty hard. Oh, this one had its automatic set up too. There we go. Oh, I guess it knuckled in and just took whatever that one was. Whatever. And welcome to the most confusing double header. We call this the anti double fairly. <laughs> none of the benefits and none of the advantages. It doesn't make any sense. Hooray! Come on. Speed and power. Oh no. Oh no. Say. Where's the sand? Come on! Come on! Catch! It's got like no pressure and it's still slipping. Six bar? That's nothing! I guess we have forward sand on. Hang on. Oh, no, it doesn't have reverse sand. It's just... Okay. 
346 has a sand valve that kind of looks like that, and it's directional sand. Although it's configured the other way, but I don't know exactly what they have in Germany. Come on! Come on! Can we get the time bonus? We might still be able to get the time bonus. If you go! Come on! Do the burnout! Alright, let's hook it up a little bit, shall we? Oh, yeah. This is actually brilliant visibility. That's arguably better visibility than running the normal direction. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, now I can stare at my explodey boys. As the, the world's saddest double fairly, anti-double fairly. Somebody come up with a good name of it for that in the comments. The, the world's saddest consist departs. You got this, Choo Choo! <laughs> this is very silly. I can't believe we almost made it, too. Come on. Okay, we are lined into C3I. That is, in fact, where we're going, right? Yes, okay. Where is the station at the machine factory? I think it's I think it's that building right there. So we'll be running right past it, which is nice. So we can try and jump out the second we get there, because it's gonna be right on the right on the timer, I think, for the, the time bonus still. What is the time bonus? 35 minutes! We've oh we've got this. We so have this. If we don't bin it right here, right now, for running ridiculously fast through the yard in reverse. This is what trailing trucks are for! Ah! It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Scoop! Scoop! <laughs> this, is, this is some shenanigans, I tell you what. Okay. And we're gonna dump the air now. Dump the air. Stop the train! I guess that'll probably stop in the right spot. <laughs> I thought I heard the uh, the brake squeal stop. Oh man, we had five minutes to spare. Check it out. No environment damage. We didn't even explode the boys. Check it out, folks. 73,000. No fees either, because I have a hacky version of the, <laughs> the Class 89. Pay no mind. So no fees to go. I need like 27 more grand and we can run passenger trains. So perhaps that'll be coming up next. Oh, look. We found some other variants of the Explodey Boys. Got blue Explodey Boys. Red Explodey Boys. Yeah. The Explodey Boys. <laughs> Well, well, this was too much fun. I uh, I was so I really so thought that it was going to work. And this thing has this thing still have this thing is still smoking. It's not melted down yet. Whatever. <laughs> this is way too much fun. Cheers again to Greg Tame for making the Class 89. What a fun little engine. Class 86 is great. I can't wait to see what he's going to come up with next. And then huge props to Crypto Neo because um, this is, a, I mean, it's a little bit of self-service, small amount, but come on. How fun is that? That's just, that's just too good. So... Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like it if you did. Click the subscribe button and click the little bell if you want to see when I'm uploading stuff. This was just a, an absolute treat. So thanks for watching.